this is it, the last of the console trilogy. So, does Little Big Planet 3 end the console trilogy on a high note? Let's find out. This is my review of Little Big Planet 3. Little Big Planet 3 is a 2.5D puzzle platformer developed by this time a completely new studio that isn't Media Molecule. Instead, the people who developed the game is Sumo Digital. The game was released for both the PlayStation 3 and at the time the newly released PlayStation 4. It got worldwide released through both November and December of 2014 and was the third entry of the main console trilogy and the eighth entry overall in the franchise. Little Big Planet 3 also has some new game and I mean new characters to play as. But I'll get to them when I discuss the gameplay. But first, time for the story and much like in Little Big Planet 2, Spoilers ahead. So, Little Big Planet 3 begins in a white void while the narrator, voiced by Stephen Fry, teaches the controls and midway through the opening we are introduced to a new character named Newton, voiced by Hugh Laurie, who rudely interrupts Mr. Fry and uses one of his devices to create a wormhole which sends Sackboy to another world called Bunkum, where he is greeted by Newton. One long expedition dump later, we go to Nana Puds, who is voiced by Susan Brown, and she and Nana Puds live in a home called Stitchamana. After we beat the boss, Newton reveals that it was his plan to unleash the Titans. No, not the ones from God of War 3 or Attack on Titan. The ones Newton released in order to make Bunkum more creative, and that Nana Pud was his mother who warned him not to open the jar. Newton proceeds to disobey and gets possessed by the three titans. Now it is up to Sackboy to recruit three legendary heroes of Bunkup, the first being Mangled Wood. This is where we get our first new playable character in the form of Odd Sock, who we play as to beat the first titan. Next is the Ziggurat, where we reawaken Toggle and beat the next titan. Finally, we have we have Bunkum Lagoon, where we reawaken Swoop, the final new playable hero. Now we move on to Newton himself, where he proceeds to trap Sackboy, forcing the heroes to save him. That's honestly quite genius if you ask me, because Sackboy often handled the big threats one-on-one -on -one without getting trapped, so this is actually a nice change of pace. Newton eventually gets stopped, becomes furious, and releases the third titan inside of his own fortress. After confronting the final titan while destroying Newton's fortress in the process and nearly falling to their deaths, our five characters get rescued by Captain Pud, voiced by Louis MacLeod. Sorry if I mispronounced this person's name. And get flown back to Stitchum Manor. Manor? Stitchum Manor where Newton builds a new portal for our main characters to send them back to Craft World. So, that's pretty much the main story of LBP3. Obviously, it's a basic go to this place and destroy the Titan, which does get repetitive and boring after a while, but due to the new areas, I honestly don't mind. Plus, the cast over all makes the game enjoyable to listen to. Stephen Fry always does a great job narrating in general. Hugh Laurie as Newton is hilarious. Louis MacLeod, again, sorry if I mispronounced this person's name, is rather great to listen to, even though he voiced minor characters. We even get the likes of Tara Strong. Yeah, the voice of Talon Apogee from Ratchet and Clank. Tools of Destruction, may I add and if she also voiced talent in Quest for Booty, who does also voice minor characters. Those being Coach Rock and Vera Oblonsky. Robbie Steven is also returning as the returning Larry Da Vinci from Little Big Planet 2. Peter Serafinowisk. What the? How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to pronounce this person's last name? Anyway, Peter here voiced Dr. Maxim, El Jeff, and Papal Mache. Basically, the entire cast are great in their respective roles, even though they are minor characters. Now, 
Gameplay time! Now, outside of our standard Sackboy move set, which is slightly shared between all four characters, the new faces, those being Oddsock, Toggle, and Swoop, come in with their own unique abilities to, of course, solve puzzles. Oddsock is a four legged dog like character who has the fastest running speed and can wall jump. Swoop, being a bird, can fly and pick up light objects. But the most unique one out of them all is Toggle. Now, Toggle can actually change between a light version of himself to a more heavy version of himself, hence the name Toggle. In addition, Sackboy now has a climbing ability about time, which works on rope-based structures such as vines. No, I'm not talking about those dead-as-hell videos. I'm talking more like actual finds that you expect from Tarzan. We also get tons of new tools and power-ups, most of which are returning from Lobic Planet 1, 2, and Lobic Planet PS Vita, making a grand total of 70 tools in LBP 3. That's almost as big as the roster for Smash Brothers Ultimate! Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, Lobic Planet 3 was released for both PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 3. While the PS4 version is better, with the game having more improved, well, the system overall has improved graphics engines with textures that has a great 1080p resolution. The PS3 version, while renders at 720p. In my opinion, since this game does have user-created levels, I say pick up the PlayStation 3 version. It's cheaper, and you don't have to pay $60 for a year of PlayStation Plus to play with your online buddies. But, if you do have, well, a very well-paying job, and you just want to have 1080p resolution, then by all means, pick up the PS4 version. This is actually the version where I recorded my first few Horror Kid Plays videos. So... Yeah, if you just want to record videos without spending over $100 for an Elgato, then pick up the PS4 version. But, in all honesty, just pick up the PlayStation 3 version for that free-to-play online. Now, after summarizing the story, gameplay, and my overall enjoyment of Little Big Planet 3, can I still recommend it today? In all honesty, yes. Like I said, go for the PlayStation 3 version. It may be at 720p. But you get to play online for free. Who knows, maybe you might run into me online someday. With this in mind, I am giving Little Big Planet 3 another perfect score of 10 out of 10. It may be done by a different developer overall, but hey, at least we still get Little Big Planet 1 and 2 user created levels. So that's a plus. Now, I want to hear from you all. Have you played Little Big Planet 3? And could you recommend it to a friend? Leave your answers in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below. Uh, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell to be notified when I review Little Big Planet PSP. So, until then, thanks for watching. And like I said, I'll see you all in my review of Little Big Planet PSP. Thanks for watching.